Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, this is a continuation of the last tutorial I did. Uh, I'm going to be showing you now how we can add multiple email addresses because there's some extra configuration you need to do to get them to all function properly. So I'm going to add a second email address. Alright, so this one here can send and receive emails fine, but uh, what I'm going to do is create a new account here. Alright, see me pop. Now this is a hotmail, so I'm going to be doing a setup for hotmail. Now the uh, use global inbox it would mean all your, your all of your incoming emails will go into one folder, which I don't want. I want each of my email addresses to have their own new f new mail folder. Incoming username, I believe. This has to uh, have your domain at the end of your incoming username. I'm not sure though. Account name. And I'm going to download all my new messages. Which there are none. Okay. So now just got to configure. Um, right, everything in here is uh, fine. Yeah. Now this would be a check for new messages at startup, which I want. Automatically download them. That's cool. So we're going to need to create a new SMTP configuration for my new Hotmail. As you can see, the one I made for my Gmail is default, which won't work with the Hotmail. So I need to add one for my Hotmail. Now this would obviously be vice versa. If you're adding a Gmail, you're going to need you're going to need to create a new Gmail. Now you're going to need to do this for each email address you do, because uh, each of them secure with the uh, username and password so yeah so uh, you're gonna need to create a new one of these for every email address <laughs> localhost and this is all good for the hotmail now we're gonna have to make this uh, this new one here the outgoing SMTP server there. So now I should be able to send and receive emails. I'm going to send one to myself. Alright. Delivering. Successfully sent. I should be able to receive this email. Actually. Messages yet. Sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, this you can check each mail individually. All right. Oh, here it is. All right. See, so yeah, that took a little while. Um. Yeah. So that would be pretty much it. Of course, this is. Uh, I really should have remembered to talk about this in the first video because this is one reason it's great to have a uh, a client like this uh, to check emails because you can check 20, 30 emails with one click instead of logging and logging out. So uh, that makes it awesome. All right, well, uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you have any questions about adding a, uh, an email address or Maybe even just configuring your first one. Just uh, leave a comment or send me an email. I guess you know my email address now. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials, there will be many more in the future. I'm going to be doing some Linux tutorials as well as more Windows tutorials. You can check out my blog, exosploit dot wordpress dot com I will have some text tutorials as well as all the uh, applications I've used in the past well I guess that'll be all thank you for watching
Links and additional information will be located in the video description.